Alan the Food Dude joins us about this time every Thursday. Alan, how you doing, man? You ready for uh, Christmas? Um, you know, I should be prepped and ready to go for Thanksgiving any day now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm a little behind, but you know it's Christmas. It's it's uh, it's the happy holidays. Yeah, we'll make it work. As a guy so, who 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 loves food, loves to cook. Oh what's, yeah. Is there a favorite time of year for you, with, um, with regards to cooking? Well, you know, I got to admit, you know, from basically October to February is when you get to show off the most. You know, during the summer you're grilling and all that kind of stuff, but. This time of year is when you actually get to do really different things that you probably don't do the rest of the year. For instance, today. Yeah. Today is a little bit of a mashup. Uh, we went for, uh, since we've got bad weather news, I said, you know, we need a serious, serious holiday comfort food. Need something thick. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and pop it open. Let's do the reveal here. Let's get oh. Uh, not, by the way, you're not, thick. You're not, whoa, whoa! You are whoa. you are in a giving Dense. chipper mood for a guy that hates cold weather like me. Because <laughs> you know it's not going to be this warm again until Tuesday. It's all listen right. To this it is all right. Wow! <laughs> Did you hear that? Well, listen. That's thick, man. All right. It's what we're eating. Yeah. <laughs> That's dense. I like it. Well, all right. There's no such thing as a light brownie. This, and I like my brownies crunchy. This so is know. like one of those MREs that the military gets. You eat this, and this gets you through the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This I like is it. Thick. All day. Wow. Now, see, Ditch, I, you had mentioned you like brownie crust before. So yeah. instead of making a big pan mm. of brownies, what you have there is what I call a mashup. And I did it in my little mini loaf thing. So everybody gets brownie crust. Because oh, if you ever watch the pan of brownies, the outside edge always disappears. Like the first. dressing. Yeah, yeah. As everybody Want wants crust. that crust, they want that little crispy. Okay, I'm now try what you the... also have in the center of that is a nice chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, you are a genius. I'm trying to identify what that was. <laughs> <laughs> you are a freaking genius, dude. Just you know, wow. you just you, you just uh, put the brownie in the bottom. You put a little whack of you. You put your little cookie. Boop, right in the dead Damn. center of it, and just let the oven make its own choices. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I just hit all the chocolate chips, man. Wow. The, just, there there the is jackpot. some serious happiness in this room right now. Good, man. Oh, no. <laughs> just silent because it's so good. <laughs> it's going it's like, in for yeah. one second. Look, go, man, man, you know, I mean, sometimes we get into some of your recipes and some of the stuff you make, and we can talk about the intricacies and stuff and the – Flavor palettes. I mean, no, there ain't nothing wrong. It's a brownie and a chocolate chip cookie, baby, and it's a home run. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to like know the like the floral, the aura, no, no, or any of no, the brownie no. and a cookie <laughs> no, built it, into it, one. It is. It is just your this standard is, everyday brownie recipe. You know, as Alan says, it's flavor, it's texture, but this is. Uh, I don't care about any of this. Good. Yeah, that's good stuff. Well, this right here. is all about the texture. Because oh, yeah. everybody likes those brownie edges, yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's why I'm like, all right, you don't you don't have to make a big plate of brownies. Put them in the put them in the muffin maker. They don't have to be square. You can make them. I round. mean, you could even you, you get this in the form of low, but like, hey, you're a bachelor like me. You get those little mini cupcake oh, yeah. tins, and that way I know I don't have to worry about it. It's all going to be edge. There if you, you got go. That. Nice little edge all the way around. But it. just like the the what Tim you said, because I'd heard about dressing balls. You scoop the dressing out so it gets crust everywhere. But you said some people put them in tins too. Yeah, yeah. Put individual. them in like the little muffin tins and yeah. that kind of stuff. So do you spray a little Pam or anything into the tins before? How do you prep that? Butter. Well, actually, bit ditch is dead on the money. What I do is I'll take a little bit. Uh, I take actually a paper towel, wad it up really tight, get a little bit of butter on it, just a little bit, and rub the inside of the tray so that it pops out a little easier. But that way you're not adding a ton of grease. Okay. Because you don't want them. Yeah, I, have you ever had somebody make like yes, cookies that were greasy? and they greasy? grease it too much. It's like, I can taste the and lard. You, and you're kind of like, you're like, wow. We by the way, actual butter or the lard's better than all that artificial crap they make like there it's it's not as bad it's no now that's grown into the the lab it's better just to put the lard or the butter yeah, but really <laughs> health wise it is but you know a little bit 
just a little bit. And I stayed with the butter so you got that nice flavor. So you don't have that little bit of vegetable oil trying to sneak in underneath there. So yeah, welcome to just two really simple, simple ideas. And you get a, you get a wonderful little treat that I don't think anybody's going to complain about. Maybe next week you can do like a pie cake. So you have cookie brownie, maybe pie cake. I'm, just, I'm trying to think of things that are combined here. Pie cake cobbler. It's like the turducken. Oh, yeah. yeah, we got, yeah. <laughs> actually, there's a really good blackberry one of those. I don't know if I got all the stuff at home, but I'll check. Uh, yeah, but you get the, you, you know, it's it's just, it guys, it's just kind of fun, especially this weekend. It's going to be cold. You're going to have time at the house. You're not... You're not, well, you're not going to go to the zoo lights, as we just heard. So, you know, you're going to stay home. It's not going to be, you know, do this for the kids. It's simple if you got kids. This is Kid City because they get to make the little cookie balls and, you know, put them in the center. And if they really want to get cute, you can do all kinds of patterns and stuff with how you put the cookie and the chocolate chips in it and all that. So I'll leave that for that. For for you guys, it's just kind of like, you know, brownie in the bottom. Spoonful of cookie dough, whack in the top, let the oven make the choice. What was your temperature in baking time? Because you have two different items here. Are they so similar mm. that the baking time? Well, by doing it the way I did it, the baking time is kind of irrelevant in the difference because the cookies aren't flattening out. Okay. The cookies are actually cooking like brownie because they're surrounded by brownie. So the big trick is now I use about 350 Fahrenheit. Uh, that's just kind of a, a nice, safe temperature. You could cook them faster. I, I don't I don't want to stand by the stove, you know, staring in there intently going, all right, you got three seconds to get them out. I'm glad you clarified you're using freedom units, too, yeah, not we, Celsius, but yeah, Fahrenheit. Yes. Freedom units Good old here. Fahrenheit. And uh, you got to do the toothpick, the toothpick test. You know, you just take a little toothpick and you stick it in one, and if it comes out goopy and covered in mix, leave them in the oven. Uh, actually it takes right at about 20 minutes, Get, you know, and, but everybody's oven is just a little bit different, but give or take right around 20 minutes. And these bad boys are ready to get, Dude. as soon as the house smells really good, do the bachelor that's trick. when you know, <laughs> do, the, do the bachelor trick and just throw it up on 500. It'll be done in 10 minutes. Uh, no, <laughs> oh, <my bad>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> throw it in no. the broiler. It'll really get done. Yeah. Now see, you know, see Jeff at no point in time <laughs> is emergency vehicles necessary right, look, to cooking. I'm still 50 so, years old. I'm still trying to make the one giant cookie out of the break and bake. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, in fairness though, wouldn't you have a better shot at getting the crust if you go 500 like Jeff suggests? No. It's going to be all crust. No, because <laughs> you, you're never all right, You're never going to give the center the chance it needs to get up to the proper temperature. Okay. Slow is always better unless you're searing. Now, if you're trying to sear something, you're trying to flash, get that coating on it, that's when your high heats are great. What about brownie cookie pancake? Ooh. Whoa. Uh, yes. I know. Brownie cookie pancake has been done. <laughs> And you, but you have to have a really good nonstick. Okay, all right. Because that because the, the sugars, they caramelize really fast. But you talk about amazing pancake stuff. And the other thing is, you can even get carried away and add like different colors to the mix, and don't mix them in real well, so that you get multicolored pancakes. So Kids if you don't that. mix the cookie dough in completely, you kind of got the brownie kind of happening. You Looks got kind of the off. cookie dough off a little bit over here, and yeah, but you, you can make you can make a heck of a pancake like that. All what right, you, I'm just ditch. watching. I'm watching. We're just, what do you think, Ditch? We're just spitballing these things. I'm watching. I'm watching Tim's in brownie cookie bliss, something. man. Let's go. All right, more <laughs> more about this newstalk989.com, and of course Alan's website, which is a it's called the cookingtodayshow.com. Yes, very appropriate. We try. All right, Alan. Thanks a lot, man. Have a uh, great Christmas. We'll talk to you. You'll be back in next week with uh, some other mm-hmm. goodies for we us. We absolutely to try. will. All right, and uh, Saturday, Saturday, you'll also hear uh, Tool Talk Radio here Indeed. on uh, News Talk ninety eight nine.